Um, what do people in Somalia feel about the pirates, uh, the issue of pirates uh, uh, off the coast? Uh, mixed reaction, I think, in Somalia. Um, the people uh, do not want the innocent sailors to be harmed. They don't want um, any major um, environmental disasters to happen by blowing up uh, chemical or oil-carrying vessels, and they urge the pirates or fishermen pirates, they urge them not to do any such things. On the other hand, since there's no sympathy, there's no understanding, there's no um, uh, readiness for dialogue with the coastal community, with the community in general, with the Somali authorities, whether the regional government or the national government, on a joint action uh, for solving these problems, then it's uh, each for his own uh, way of doing. But the people are very concerned. Um, on the one hand, they would like this to be resolved peacefully. On the other, um, they feel very sad and um, for injustice being done by the international community. Mm. Um a little more on the issue of toxic dumping, if you would, Mohammed Abshir Waldo. I don't think people in the United States understand exactly what it is you're referring to and how it affects people. Well, toxic dumping, industrial waste dumping, nuclear dumping, um, as you are probably aware and have heard and many people know, uh, for quite some time, um, in the 70s, mainly in the 80s, in the 90s, um, there was a lot of waste of all these kinds that um, companies wanted to get rid of, uh, following very strict environmental rules in their countries. So uh, where else to take that uh, in countries in conflict or weak countries who could not um, prevent them or who could be bought? So uh, these um, waste have been carried to Somalia. Uh, it's been in the papers. It has been reported by um, media organizations like Jazeera, I think like CNN. Uh, many had reported about the mafia, um, Italian mafia, who admitted it, dumping it in Somalia for quite some time, uh, for, for quite a long time. And... Uh, as we speak now, I heard yesterday, in fact, another uh, vessel was captured in the Gulf of Aden by community, this time not pirates, by the community uh, when they suspected it. And uh, it was carrying two huge containers, which it dumped into the sea when they saw these people uh, coming to them. They have been apprehended. The vessel had been apprehended. Um, the, fortunately, the containers did not sink into the sea, but uh, they had been towed to the coast. And um, this community have invited the international community to come and investigate this uh, matter. So far, we don't have um, action. So this uh, dumping, waste dumping, toxic dumping, waste, nuclear waste dumping has been ongoing in Somalia um, since 1992. When I read your article, Mohammed Abshir Waldo, it reminded me of a controversial memo that was leaked from the World Bank. This was when Lawrence Summers, now the chief economic advisor, was the chief economist at the World Bank, um, uh, in which it said, I think the economic logic behind dumping a load of toxic waste in the lowest wage country is impeccable, and we should face up to that. I've always thought that underpopulated countries in Africa are vastly underpolluted. He said he was being sarcastic. Uh, um, actually, um, the more uh, formal, official uh, concern with this UN habitat has also confirmed uh, in various reports that this has been dumped in Somalia. Um, the special representative of the Secretary General, uh, Walid Abdallah, who is now um, uh, working
interaction with the Somali uh, authorities uh, has also, I think, uh, made a statement to that effect. So it is very well known. Uh, it's not something hidden. It's not something we are making up. Uh, the world knows, but it doesn't do anything about it. Mohamed Abshir Waldo, thank you for joining us, a consultant in Kenya, speaking to us from Mombasa. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. We'll be back in a minute.